Hello, you are watching this video tutorial from w3resource.com. We have tutorials for developers on different topics including MySQL. In this video, we will discuss MySQL substring function, which is a very useful function and oftentimes while developing applications, you will require this function. Uh, first of all, we will see the syntax of this uh, function. It has got two variations of it. We'll discuss both of them first to begin with. First one is substring, and as parameter we pass, we may pass three things: string, position, and length. And the second variation is it uses uh, two keywords that is from and for, so it is like substring, then string from position for length. Now we will see uh, several examples. The first example we will see, it does not uh, include any table. We'll take a simple stream, uh, string called uh, W3Resource and we will mention position that is 4 and length that is 3. So the command goes like this, select substring W3Resource from position 3 up to 3, th 3 position of length. So you will execute this and you have got the output as ESO. So if you look at this string, you will find that the result, that output, it starts with the fourth position that is W3RE and ends with O that is it goes up to three uh, position length. So that is why we got the output ESO. We'll go for the second example. Now onwards we'll be using employees table so we will go for a select statement which will select all the records from the table this will help you to understand kind of data we have in this table so this is the output of the entire table we'll be working with the first name column which stores the first name of the employees string value So if we run this command, which says select first name, that is first name column, and then substring first name from position 4 up to 5 from employees table. So this is the output. The first uh, column shows the first name, and the second column shows the output after uh, working with substring. So we will take any of the rows like uh, if you take you, if we take the second row that is s u n d r that is the first name and in the command we have mentioned that uh, the output should start with the uh, start from the fourth position so it takes s u n d so it starts with d and then it goes up to 5 so it's d a r this is how the how the how it works We'll go for the second example. This command says select first name, substring, first name, and four. S notice that we are not mentioning any uh, length in this statement. So this is the output. You can see the first name in the first column and, uh, and the output, required output in the second column. this is the next example this comment says uh, first name select first name substring first name and look here we are uh, specifying the position with a negative value right so when we specify a negative value it starts from the end that is the rightmost character is the first one first character when the command works you can see the output here both of the columns, first name in the first column and second column with the substring. So uh, if we take this row that is S U N D E R, you see uh, the output is N D A R. So since we have mentioned a negative value as the position that is minus 4, so it starts with R that is the rightmost character and then it goes up to 4 positions. The next example. 
in this example we are using a negative value as position and a length so the command says select first name substring first name minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 is the position and 2 is the length from employees if you execute this this is the output if you take the second row S U N D E R, you get the output N D because it starts with uh, uh, R and then it takes two characters this is the last example of this video this example actually uses the second variation of the syntax we have mentioned at the outset that is uh, this syntax see here we are not mentioning the position and length instead we are using we are mentioning position and length but uh, with, with with using uh, from and for so the comment says select substring then a string that is w3 resource from 4 4 is the position and for 3 that is it will go up to 3 positions so if we execute this we get the output ESO we have already got an explanation of this still so it starts from the fourth position that is W3R so it starts with E and then it takes three characters so ESO that's, so that is what we have got as output so this is about a uh, MySQL substring function which is very useful and we use it to extract substring from a given string in MySQL this all these examples actually uses MySQL 5.6 versions we have got so many other videos tutorials and pictorial exp explanations of different MySQL functions and comments in our website for example for MySQL substring function you may visit our web page and we have got a very beautiful pictorial presentation of the MySQL substring function which will uh, clarify so many of your uh, doubts if you are a beginner particularly so keep watching these videos and keep visiting w3.com thanks for watching